by the way. Uh, nursing school online, 10 out of 10. <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. It's your girl Kiani here and if you're new, welcome. I make videos about nursing beauty and lifestyle so feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. In today's video, I'm going to do something a little different for you guys. I'm going to be sharing tips with you on how I stay productive at home, whether if it's working from home or doing school online. By the way, uh, nursing school online, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Uh, it's driving me insane. It's driving me crazy. I don't know how everyone else is doing out there, but we're all going to make it through. All you students out there, we got this. Um, the semester is almost over and I'm just counting down the days, although my following semester just starts like days after. But all in all, I'm going to be okay. So I just wanted to come on here and share these tips with you guys on how I stay productive working from home and managing school online. So I hope you find these helpful and stay tuned. Tip number one is to have a routine and actually stick to it. Usually I wake up one hour before I actually start work. I start with making my bed and then I'll go into the bathroom and brush my teeth and wash my face and all of that. After, I will turn to my room and get ready for my workout. So I'll usually do a fasted workout, whether it's going for a walk or a jog. Sometimes I work out indoors, uh, usually 20 to 30 minutes. Your girl has fitness goals, okay? After working out and taking a shower, I make my coffee. This is what I just usually do before my 8 to 4 shift working from home kind of used to this routine. I've been working from home almost two years now. I don't actually get ready. Sweats and a t-shirt work just fine for me. But if you want to actually get ready for the day, put on makeup, be my guest, do whatever works best for you. Hours later. Tip number two is to have a designated study space. So here I'm just clearing off my desk because a clear space equals a clear mind. And if you don't have a desk, I suggest getting one of those folding tables or laptop lap desk. So I don't always sit at this desk to study. Sometimes I go into my living room just because I need a change of scenery and I'll sit on the couch and study. I'll use a folding table for my laptop. And rarely am I ever studying on my bed. I just find that I'm lazier that way. But there are days where I'm lazy. I got this laptop stand from Amazon a while ago, so I don't remember the price. Tip number three is to work during lecture times. So here I just have a to-do list. I like writing down my top three priorities and then I have my full list of things to do in my Google Calendar. Before the Rona came around and I was actually still attending class, we had class from 6 p.m. to 9, and so they were kind enough to still hold conference calls between those times, and I just sit in and listen. Um, I don't attend all of them, but I do attend most. Next thing that worked for me was eliminating distractions. My phone is almost always on Do Not Disturb. Sometimes I may turn off my Instagram or Twitter notifications. And another thing that I use is the Forest app. I honestly spend way too much time on my phone and this app has helped me be more productive. I usually study for 50 minutes and then take a 10 minute break. The last tip is to make time for self care. That's me. So in my free time, I like to watch other YouTube videos, I like to edit my own videos, maybe read a book, and watch Netflix. If you have any other tips or Netflix suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.